What's going on guys? Chad here at Marine Max Jupiter. Today, fresh from the factory, we have a brand new Boston Whaler 330 Outrage. We're gonna get right into this walkthrough video. So up in the bow area here, plenty of creature comforts, plenty of uh, fishing amenities. So a few things I'll point out. The seating arrangement here, you have seating forward, and you also have this huge lounger off the front of the center console. Two people can fit here. You have drop down armrest, two cup holders. But not only is this a lounger, but it's actually a huge storage compartment as well. Hit the latch, this will pop up. It's on two gas springs. Uh, as you can see, fresh from the factory, we have some of the factory stuff down here, the props, owner's bag, and this antenna. And the antenna gives you a good example of how you can actually put, uh, say like a fishing pole, or any other stuff like boat hooks, anything you wanted to be able to put through, it'll actually go from this area into the head area. And you can lock both this compartment and the center console up. So if you wanna stow your fishing rods away, leave them on the boat. You can put them right down here, lock them up, be nice and secure. This is a huge storage compartment. You can see you can fit plenty of stuff two dedicated spots for five gallon buckets. They clip right in, so you don't have to worry about them sliding around. Got the two Boston Whaler buckets. Uh, that's super neat. Also, this boat comes with your uh, first mate. Close that up. Now, looking back forward, you get two rod holders up here. Those actually uh, dub as not only rod holders, but you get a bow sunshade. Connects from the hard top up here. Clips onto these. Then you plug in uh, two poles. It gives you uh, sun coverage up here. It can easily be deployed. All the way forward, you have your windlass with remote control. Now in between the seats here, you have a uh, index storage. You can never have too much storage on a boat. It's a very deep compartment. It wouldn't be a bad spot for life jackets either. You have your JL Audio speakers up here. Two, pull two more cup holders off the loungers. You also have another storage compartment. That'd be a good spot for drinks. You could ice that down, have drinks up here in the bow as well. Now we're gonna work our way back off the front of the console. You have your windshield wiper. You have your spotlight. This boat's going to have radar as well. They haven't set it up yet because we just got this boat from the factory. It'll have that as well. Really neat about this boat, what I like is the color combo. So you have the gray seats. They actually went with the black frame. It's not something you see all the time, but it's super sharp looking. I love it. Matches the black engines. This boat's actually the Jidstone color. So you got a green and black combo. It looks beautiful. Uh, they haven't installed them yet. There's actually going to be the Mohawks on the engines as well that match the hull color. So you're going to have a nice green and black combo. So we're going to way down to the console. As I mentioned previously, uh, it's lockable. We have the key right here. You can open this up. There's a real strong magnet that holds that open, so you don't have to worry about this flap around. So you'll see down here, we have our outriggers, uh, you got a little sink, some storage, your head here, as well as a dedicated spot for your ladder. Plenty of head space down there for 33 foot center console. That area is rather large. More speakers throughout the boat. These JL audio speakers are outstanding. At the helm, a lot of stuff to point out. You have all your switches here. We have dual Simrad electronics, which are flush mounted with this beautiful acrylic dash. Get your magnetic Simrad covers when you want to cover up the boat. Also have your spotlight controls. There is a smaller compartment here, great spot to put your cell phone. You can see, for example, I have my iPhone down in here. You have your charging ports here, so you're gonna have your phone in there tucked away. That'll stay dry and have your phone charging. Two more cup holders. Yes, of course, this boat has joystick. 
feel like uh, on boats nowadays, that's a necessity. It's great for docking. Uh, you also get autopilot with it and the skyhook feature. Skyhook feature will hold you in place. Say you're coming up to the dock, you wanna be able to put your dock lines out. There's a current, you can just hit that skyhook. It'll hold you in place. You can go around, put your fenders, your dock lines out. It's almost like uh, having a second person on the boat at times. Uh, Mercury throttles, you have your Lenko trim tab controls, as well as a JL audio speaker control here. Uh, everything's within arm's reach, really nicely laid out. Behind me, you have your captain's chair and co-captain's chair, which is bolstered, so whether you want to sit higher up, sit on top of it, it's a nice foot footrest that fits perfect, or if you want to drop it down and have some more leg space, do so that way. Got your armrest. There's a secondary drop down armrest here. So, another nice feature for people who like a little bit better view while you're driving. You can drop this step down. It's going to give you an extra, say, five or six inches, right around that range. Gives you a lot more visibility while you're driving. I'm about six foot myself and just those couple extra inches really makes a difference. Gives you a lot better view. Now on the port side of this, we have three drawers, more storage. It'll be a good spot for some fishing tackle. We have three of those. Over on the starboard, you're actually gonna get your fridge freezer combo right underneath where you're sitting. It's conveniently located right by the helm. And this boat's also optioned with the trolling seats. These pull out. That's on both port and starboard. So you sit here, this boat has outriggers. So you have the outrigger coming down right about here. Great spot to look back, look at all your fishing poles if you're trolling and look at your spread. Now, as we work our way back, you have your batteries right there, easily accessible. Now, the aft facing seat here, this backrest actually deploys. You can turn it into a rigging station, another spot to store stuff. I personally would use this as a rigging station. It'd be great while you're out fishing, have all your tackle out here. Now underneath the bench seat, you actually have your secondary bait well with blue interior. And you have your other bait well at the transom here behind the seat. This one's significantly larger. I'd use this as a primary, that is a secondary. Um, you also have your aft seat here. We have it deployed simply to put it away, lift up, it'll easily go away. That's great to have um, when you have your cockpit table out here, mounts right here. You guys can face each other uh, around the table. Great for entertaining. Also, I'd like to point out the fish boxes, how large they are. Plenty of space down there. Those are insulated. Helps keep your eyes, you know, real large fish down there. And those fish boxes are real long. Now uh, you have storage underneath here for rods or uh, if you want to put a scrub brush down there, any dock lines. Uh, you have more JL audio speakers back here. There's been JL audio speakers throughout the boat. So every zone you're in, you're going to have speakers. It really helps uh, the music throughout the boat. Now over on the port side, you have your dive door. It's also really convenient when you're pulling up a up to a dock on the port side, you can get off there. Uh, the ladder is down on the console as we pointed out previously. Mounts right here to the floor. Really heavy duty hardware here. And you can see the quality of that. Uh, whalers use yacht quality hardware. One of the great benefits of Boston Whalers. We have another dedicated spot for a five gallon bucket. The Boston Whaler bucket right here. Have that tucked away nicely. 
more rod holders throughout the boat. As I mentioned previously, this boat has outriggers. You also have your spreader lights here, right behind the rocket launchers. You have five rod holders up above your head. So plenty of storage for your rods. The fishermen are gonna really appreciate that. Also on the starboard, you have another entry point. So if you dock on the starboard side, you can exit off the boat this way. As I mentioned previously, if you dock on the port, you can go through the dive door. Now, by this door, you also get a freshwater sprayer. So if you pull up the sandbar, maybe you went diving, you can spray yourself off before you step into the boat. Now, this boat's equipped with the all new 400 V10s by Mercury. That's gonna be max horsepower on this boat. And as I mentioned previously, we're gonna have this centerpiece as jade stone green, which is gonna match the whole of the boat. It's gonna look awesome. If you wanna come see this boat, come by Marie Max Jupiter or call us today and ask for Chad.